we are now getting ready for our next match of the day. This is match number four already today in the Don't Force Me Cup Global Finals <coughs> here in Group A. Infi right now at one and one. Colorful at zero and two. Colorful really needs to win this game if he wants to keep up with the rest of the pack. And Infi's playing random, by the way. Infi picking random here once again against Colorful. And on the first map, he got Night Elf for the Night of Mura. Going for a fast natural creep is Infi. Colorful, always the more standard player. Gonna go for green into green. And I would not be too surprised if Infi here will try to expand at some point. Parry up, quite the good item for the Demon Hunter. Ring also really nice, so this beefs up the Demon a lot. Oh, and look at Colorful's movement. He is so expecting an expansion. Running up north with everything he has, just to see that there is, in fact, no expansion here. Not yet, anyways. You need to try to hold this Ancient of War, though, right? If this Ancient of War goes down, that is bad news. Here come more Wisps for the repair. There's going to be a bunch of Wisps going down, probably. Moonglows being made will be cancelled soon, I guess. And now... Uh, that was pretty expensive for Infi. He lost two Wisps. He had to cancel two Moonwells. Is he going to expand now? He's missing a bit of lumber for it. Colorful gonna go for the boots and circlet. And also boots for Infi. A player's forces are and do we have an expansion now? Nope. Not really. Colorful playing a pretty good game so far. Only one archer goes down in the end. Colorful looking all the time. He's feeling quite paranoid. Expecting the expansion. A town is under siege. Infi may want to try to go Talons, by the way. We don't see a Hunter's Hall yet. Colorful does have his Hunter's Hall coming. Naga second. And the pressure continues. Gonna be another wisp going down, also a detonate. Colorful has to get to the shop, I mean get to the tavern, get his own naga out. What's Infi doing here on tier 2, I wonder? Very hard to read right now what he's up to. Ancient of War? No, Ancient of Wonders. What the hell? Infi with an Ancient of Wonders push. Trying to take out the Ancient of War of the opponent, he does get it. No production right now for Colorful for a long time. But the Naga of Inferior also taking a lot of damage. She should be going down, I think. Archers versus Archers fighting here on the left-hand side. There are Moonwells to help. Colorful is going to need them soon, I'm sure. Now Colorful has two heroes to defend with. He's going to go for the shop. Very weird game. Gonna be a cancel, I guess, in the end. Infi didn't lose too much here. Oh, he almost got trapped in the main base. That was close. And okay. And it's still not quite clear what Infi is playing here. Still not teching. Circlet and staff, and the archers are sticking around. May want to go for the lore cancels. Ooh, this looks this looks risky. Oh, Infi's archers in the back of the base. And his tier three has finally started, by the way. Demon is trying to get back here, trying to get a cancel. He gets one. He might get a second. He's gonna have to TP home before too long. It's gonna be daytime soon. Oh, but it's a big delay on the lures. Really big. 
Can we finally see an Ancient of Wind? Ancient of War did survive. The Naga fighting against the Demon Hunter back at home. Here's the TP. Oh, one archer is gonna go down. TP just a tiny bit too late. But healing now is extremely low. Oh my god. If he doesn't have any moon juice, he needs a shop really badly. And when you have talents with master training, you have very strong timing. That's a timing the Elves and Mirror sometimes try to use to get the expansion going. And yeah, the lore delays were huge. Oh, look at the Demon Hunter. Finds the lore back here. I mean, the Ancient of Wind back here. Don't think he has enough quite to get the cancel, though. Forces are under attack. Now we get a shop as well. Healing is a big problem. Cutterful can't wait until he finally got bears. And the bears are coming, but of course the thing is, against talents you don't want bears. You want dryads and MGs. But it looks like he feels the need to still have to go for bears to just get some sort of healing. A player's forces are under attack. Naga level 2. Both of the here, not getting level 3 for a long time, which is kind of unusual. Has Infi versus 40 already happened? Yes, that was played earlier. It was a very entertaining best of three, by the way. Where Infi played Orc. Okay, the two armies meeting for real here in the middle of the map. Both team hunters still not quite level three, although they are close. Especially Infi. So what's he gonna do with master training? It's almost up. A player's forces are under attack. And Calibre is not going into MGs, he's going bears. Especially when bears are fairy fired, they die very quickly to the magic damage from the talents. That is why normally they don't work as a counter. An answer, normally you need MGs. Manor is benefiting a lot from the rejuvenation right now, as he always is. And the big heal potion was also very, very good. A player's forces are under attack. Tinker third over here for Infi. Doesn't have that much mana yet on the talents. Staff already as it's finally night time. We finally got some region again. And looks like Infish is gonna go for a straight up one base push into Colorful's main. Colorful at threat camp. This would be the worst time to start it. It's gonna have to run home, react to what's coming. There's the TP. Got some illusions. Could make things a little bit complicated. A lot about the mana here. Cyclone on the Naga right away. The anti-magic potion was used early on the Demon Hunter. Caliph is not going to be able to use it pretty soon. Oh, or rather, for a long time. 
But the heal potion is looking good. The Demonia for Colorful is looking really strong indeed. Also, the heal scroll coming into play. Now, finally, the Cyclone is being used again. Demonia especially is the prime target to Cyclone up in the air. But he is back to the ground, thanks to the Dry Dispel. A Colorful seems to be playing a pretty good defense here so far. HP running low on multiple targets, including the Naga right here. There's another heal scroll, though. The Demonia back to the shop. Healing up again from a potion. The Moon Juice advantage, of course, is huge right here. Cyclone again, but Cyclone is running out quickly. That's right, also falls. There's still no expansion, by the way. <clears throat> Team Hunter still wheeling and dealing. And that's it for the mana, pretty much. We got one Cyclone left only in the Ancient of War. Couldn't really help much in this fight. A little bit too late. This one's going to be taken out. And Colorful holds quite impressively. Anti-magic potion at the perfect time. Another rejuvenation again. Can be used on the demon. Double rejuve, I think, even. And, of course, it's so much about healing. Ooh, and look at Infi. He can't heal. He needs the heal scroll. He got the heal scroll. But the Moondrew's problem is very, very apparent. Thinker 2. Demon's gonna get level 4 from this camp, but it seems like Colorful is in a wonderful spot now. Great items also on the Naga. Demon close to 4. A player's forces are under attack. Infi was able to heal, thanks to the heal scroll. Both players back to 50 supply. Thank you, Natirian, with the reset. Not many creeps left on the map. Always seems to me like the Quathras, or uh, not the Quathras, rather the uh, Hood of Cunning, isn't even that good on the Demoner. But the Nagas always seem to keep it. Oh my god, what a sick item. Cadgar's Pipe with Mass Talons. That is the most insane item for an army that you can imagine. Oh my god, that's so much mana per second. Oh jeez. Okay. The game is still on. Bear count is very low and colorful, as it should be. Is he going for MGs? Oh, yes, he is. Got one MG upgrade already. Honestly, he kind of needs two, though. A town is under siege. And this game is back on. The expansion is going to force Colorful's hand <clears throat> sooner rather than later. And the Cadgas Pipe is regening so much mana. Almost all the talents are full mana. So much second. Of mana also on the dryads. They too have a lot of juice. But of course the towns are very frail, unlike the Dimahan on the other side, unlike the mountain giants for colorful. Expansion not yet mining has only been an expenditure so far. Seems to be looking good for Colorful here. Everything for Infi heard already. We got double heal scroll though, where the Tinker needs to return to the army. Anti-magic pop, Demon Hunter cannot be touched right now. 
heal scroll used right there. That was the first one. Invo Potion also popped on the other side. We have lots of Dryads for lots of Dispel, and that is still working out quite well indeed. Talons feeling the pain quickly. Naga, though, out of mana. Demon Hunter! Barely survives. Staffed out. Needs to heal up quickly from the Moon Wells, and he does. But the MG army on the move forward. Oh, the Wand of Illusions here. Working out really well. It's so many MGs. This might just be too many Mountain Giants to deal with. Dried mana now basically gone, but they did their job, it would seem. Demon Hunters again duking out the front line, but MGs are such a strong counter to this army. Almost nothing is doing damage to them. And the expansion might be standing, but it's not mining. Demon Hunter healed again fairly well. For colorful, oh, but he doesn't have a staff. Demon Hunter count staff back in here. Fairy Dragon so far not working out too well as a counter. And Demon Hunter finds his way to the back line. A lot of the Dryads here are also hurt. Maybe if we can still find a way to turn this game around. Lots of hurt units on both sides. Heal scrolls would be absolutely phenomenal. Demon Hunter now finally back. Ran all the way back from the main base. Changing mana burns. The Kagas pipe still pumping and pumping. The mana region is tremendous on these talons. And the expansion is finally mining. Hold the phone, senor. MG's now all pretty bruised. Orb of Venom is a great weapon against them. Colorful definitely needs a heat scroll. And he got one. Gonna use it right away. He's going to keep fighting. He's got his own expansion coming up here now, going for more upgrades. He's going to be at 1-2. And now, of course, the mana superiority for the talents is kicking in. The Dryads are all out of mana, more or less. Or perhaps they have one dispel. But that's pretty much it. The talents just have endless, endless cyclone. Infi's starting to catch up in supply. 60 for him. He's got talons on, I mean, fairies on the way. Seems like Infi is starting to look better and better here. Bolt lightning comes in. Good damage. There is no heal scroll anymore on Infi's side. This is where lots of units could start to die. They are, of course, easily taken out if it's sniped. Demon Hunter off to the side. Seems like Colorful doesn't want to expose it too easily. Two of the MGs now. Very hurt, though. It takes a long time, but seemingly, at some point, you can try to chew through them. Lots of talents also hurt. So much stuff. So hurt again. Heal scrolls. Would be absolutely glorious. And the player who loses this engagement might not get the heal scrolls either. The MGs. This MG super hurt. These MGs also super hurt. And now Infi making the big move to the shop. He needs those heal scrolls. A player's forces are Two fresh attack. bears coming in, by the way. For Riju. Still fighting over here. There's no TP anymore, by the way. Invo Potion. Trying to get the Tinker Kill, but he can't get it. The demon came in just in time for the heal scroll. The Naga also invo. So many items forced everywhere. Staff. Staff. And now trying to run home. There are boots on the Naga. Should be enough for her to get away. A couple of Dryads went down and the supply has gotten quite a bit more even. More bears. So many more bears. Is that the right call? Four bears being made by Colorful. This could have been MGs instead. Now it's time to heal. And the expansion is not mining yet. For Colorful, here come a sapper. Two sappers. Don't tell me. <laughs> he doesn't connect. No, he does connect. Fork lightning as well. Sapper number two. And that is... Perhaps not even necessary. No, it is. Naga caught with a mana burn and a cyclone. Oh, Infi. 
He may have just done it, but he doesn't need to finish the job right here. He's going to TP out. Kills one bear. And most importantly, he took out the expansion. A town is under siege. Colorful took a little bit too long to get ready again for the defense. But these bears, they seem a bit questionable, I gotta say. Into returning back to his expansion. Still so much mana on these talents. Naga almost level 5. That is indeed quite good. I'm using a lot of mana here. Should he just buy a clarity? Clarity is very cheap. And now the main expired. Walking over the tree of eternity. And if he's doing the same. Still a supply, they don't colorful, but not by much. Colorful's kind of close to double level 5, but especially the demon still needs a bit. Now we got a good number of fairies as well. They're gonna try to fly past the MGs, attack the dryads. Cat gas pipe. Oh, how good has it been? Trying to take his time, get the right approach. Ooh, but when everything's smacking on one target, you can see the damage also stacking up. Team Hunter here taking a beating right away. He's got the rings though, those are helping. Anti magic used early on the side of Colorful. Team Hunter will have to be staffed out very soon. And back he goes. But is that the natural? Demon can't heal right away. The Naga did get level 5 finally. And he's not getting burned at the moment, but it seems like. Maybe he should take out the rest here. Could go for way more Cyclone still. Oh, the Tinker. Ooh, very hurt as well. That Fog Lightning actually hurts a lot. Demon Hunter finally back to the main. Can finally heal. Oh, Colorful's forgetting about the Moonwells. Now he is. And this game is still on. Hold up. Expo's gone. MG's took care of it. Team are finally returning with full HP. That level 3 fog lightning was looking pretty good, I gotta say. Team are again hurt, again staffed out, away from the Moonwells. The juice is super low. And Infi taps out. Colorful does it. Pretty crazy game. Going back and forth. It seemed like Infi there with the expansion might have it in the end. But it was not quite enough. Colorful able to bring it across the finish line in the Night of Mirror. Which was supposed to be his matchup. Takes the 1-0 over Infi. Very important point of course it would be for Colorful. Colorful right now is uh, he's down 0-2 after losing to Fortitude and losing to Lin. So if he doesn't want to get last place here, he will need to take the win against Infi. First step was successfully taken. And we get ready for... Map number two. Infi was random earlier, as you may remember. Infi has to stick with random here as well for our second map. Tight Hunters. Question is, what will he get this time? And here we have the answer. Orc, it shall be this time. Infi knows he's going to be facing a Night Elf, of course. He doesn't know necessarily which hero he's going to be facing. Tidehunters is a very, very good keeper map. One of the best keeper maps. But especially against <laughs> Night Elf in Mirror, keeper is not something you want to be playing. So, 
if Colorful wants to stay safe here, he's going to go for Demon Hunter. But it's also solid against Orc. Is Infi going to play Blade Master, I wonder? No. I was about to say. It is very, very rare to see Infi play a Blade Master, and here also it's going to be his preferred hero, the Farseer. Having a bit of a pause. Maybe some connection issues. That's a good thing about Flow TV. You can fast forward through a pause. Alright. Back we are ready again. So, Farseer grunts. This could work out very well in Infi's favor. This is a weird build. This is not what Night Elves are used to. Colorful is always best when he knows what's coming, and he has faced that strat a ton of times before. He's very good playing against what he has practiced against. Thinking quickly on his feet and improvising has never been Colorful's strength, which is something he may have to do here. Here's the scout. Infi now sees, or Colorful rather, sees what's going on. Sees the Farseer, sees the Grunt. And the Demon Hunter is going to come say hello. Right away. It can be very annoying to play a Farseer against the Demon Hunter. If you just get mana burned a couple of times and you don't have wolves anymore, all of a sudden, you feel not so useful anymore. Trading hits here in the middle of the map. It seems to look pretty good for Colorful though, right? Uh, needs to summon the wolves now if he wants to summon them. Oh, and he does. Okay. That was nice right before the mana burn. But that's it with the wolves for a while. And there's a good number of Moonwells. Ready to heal up the Demon Hunter here. I think no wisps have gone down just yet. Players' forces are under attack. Seems like Colorful has a solid start into this game. He played it very safe with a late tech. You can see the tech difference is, is very, very noticeable. A one minute lead, more or less. And the fast here is still not quite enough mana to summon the wolves. Awkward start for Infi. But what he's really looking forward to is tier 2 and what he can do there. Oh, got one wisp. And the shop is finally ready. Finally, some clarities and new wolves. Both the minor items are amazing though. Claws and slippers. Really nice for him. What's this strat going to be? There's no war mill, so it's not going to be a tower push. Fire Lord. Okay. Just Fire Lord Grunt. Push. Very aggressive stance by Infi. All right, <laughs> let's see if this works out. Oh, one archer about to go down. All right, gets that one. Detonate kind of missing. The target fire here by Colorful a little bit off. He needs to get a mana burn against the Fire Lord. Mana burn. That was pretty bad. He had so much time there to get a mana burn off. 
colorful here. Um, yeah, this is uncharacteristically struggling with the micro. But it might still be good enough. There's no wolves. The orc heroes are low. And now we have a war mill. We do have a beastery now. Now I got a second for colorful. Seems like colorful is still mostly in control here. Going for lures. Going for dryads. They will work out very well later. Once there's a the spell. Nice save there with the lava spawn. But this does not seem to be working out for Infi. It's a weird strat, just level one farseer regression, grunt pressure, and then fire lord push, kind of. But without towers. Does not look like the most impressive orc strat. Just yet. And Colorful's getting all the buildings he needs. He's gonna have Dryad soon with Dispel. And like the shop as well. Heal pots for the Demoner, I imagine, will be very necessary soon. Farsi level 2, finally. Is going far side, by the way. Style points. And he did scan <laughs> the high ground here. Okay. Raider into Kodos. Reinforced defenses. Alright, it might finally be time for towers soon. Kind of. Colorful Silver playing very, very passively. Staying close to his main base. If you're looking for an opening, again, not finding one. It's colorful about to double level up. Seems like Infinity to get to the task at hand. Sooner rather than later. Double level up. Demon now three. We don't have too much abolish yet, but there's a couple. And the summons are quickly taken care of. Scroll of protection, I think, trying to bait some dry at this spell right here, but that doesn't seem to be working out perfectly either. Heal potion on the demon. Over oh, the Naga. Naga caught in the end snare. That could be an opportunity to try to go for the kill, but she gets away for now. Cut a beast. We'd have to get off a big devour here. And Cut of has to TP. Thanks to the safety behind the moon wells. Does make it back. Supply lead still on colorful, pumping out the dryads. The shop here now. Very helpful. We'd love to see some clarity, some moonstones. Beast kind of caught in the back here. Farseer close to three, but what does that really do against the mass dryads? Here come the peons. Alright, this might be the towers. Finally. Towers would finally be a good answer against dryads if they come up. Colorful side of the tech. It's been scouted by the far side. Tower here, maybe? Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay. 
Tower on the high ground. Only about 100 gold. The Orc Towers. Okay, speed scroll in. Catch the Naga perhaps a bit too far up front. And that could be the kill here. Demon trying to pass something, but the Naga... Oh, is dead. Double level three. Hold on. Did we count out Colorful too early? Demon could also be instantly locked. Possibly. Makes it back to the Moonwells, kind of. But there's so many ensnares. Oh! He's got him! <laughs> the team on goes down, what the hell? All of a sudden, with level 2 incinerate and the mass ensnare lock. What? Infi wins this game. Getting owned for like minutes. But all of a sudden, Infi gets the win. What the hell was this game? That was confusing. No TP, no invuln to keep the hero safe. Maybe colorful. Too cocky, not going for a TP anymore to save his heroes. And guess what? That's how Infi ties it up. Brings us to a third game decider, which will be colorful's pick. Trying to join the game. Okay. Now it should be working. That was a weird comeback out of nowhere. Seemed like Colorful was doing everything right until suddenly it all fell apart, eh? And now for the map 3 decider, we have Terna Stand. Infi still with random. Infi gets orc again. This map is known to be very good for expansion play. Infi may want to go for a different strat this time around. Looked like a Razor Man strat, right? <laughs> just mass raiders, mass ensnare. Just click on the heroes one by one. And the Demon again against the Farseer. Once more. Scalpion could try to steal the Shadow Priest away, I guess. And that he's gonna do. On this map, sometimes we see um, Immolation on the Demon Hunter, but against the Farseer, that does not seem like it's the right idea. Oh, oh got one steal. Shadow Priest stole the last hit. Right. Did he, wait, did he, did he get two? I think he denied one of them with the Ancient of War. Demon Hunter is only 140 XP. Does have Immolation. So that should mean no evasion later. Oh, and now he has no mana burn. For such a long time. Oh, that is problematic. Oh, thank you very much. Changing GG with a 10 gifted subs. 
My dog. Thank you very, very much. Oh my god, the Ancient of Wars is gonna go down. Oh my god. Absolutely disastrous game for Colorful here on his map pick. Tech hasn't started yet. He's going for a new Ancient of War in the main base. There's so many wolves! No production! Oh god. Uh oh, Colorful close now to his third loss in a row. Last place of the group gets eliminated. He needs the Spurzaker. Colorful needs the Spurzaker, but he doesn't get him. Berserker goes to Infi as well. Oh boy, oh boy. Trying to get the Shadow Priest, but Inf Infi's microing it well. Team Hunter, of course, the big mana potion didn't help him at all. Players forces are under attack. Oh, there's still so much mana. No mana burn. Yikes. As the kids say. And if this isn't the Fire Lord, I don't know what is. The Mana at least has the boots, but he doesn't have great stats, doesn't have evasion, doesn't have mana burn. Here, close to level two, needs only one more creep. Demon really wants to get this Shadow Priest, but look at the surround! Demon is doing a lot of return damage here, though. There's gonna be a TP forced. And. Alright. Colorful gets something going his way. He also got the Shadow Priest. That's good. Infi has the shop here already in just a moment, though. Going for Shadow Hunter second. And an early war mill this time. The man is going evasion. Attack. No mana burn. No mana burn. Okay. What's this peon up to? Could be an expansion. Seems like it is. Panda second for Colorful. Playing a fiery game here. With Breath of Fire and Immolation. Double lowers. Riots. The Whisk Scout here. Could make things a bit difficult. Expansion is certainly far, far from finished. Double rings rather unlucky, but the Farseer here, very three, very fast. And Dryads, of course, will be great. Against Hex, against the Wolves. A player's forces are under attack. Now we kind of know what the game is going to be. It's going to be expansion on Infi versus aggression on Colorful. Not random? No, he is random. He got Nidal first and then Orc twice. Alright, push towards the expansion. Farseer on the other side of the map. Harassing with the wolves. <laughs> there's Wisps here and there's Dryad, so this is not doing too much. Colorful going for a counter expansion. Oh my god, if the Farseer saw this! Could have been an easy cancel, but I didn't see it. And Infi's army is still tiny. 
two Berserkers is kind of all he's got. And a bunch of Serpent Bolts. Shit on level two. Seems like it should not be a hex, really. Oh, Farseer. Nice bit of harass here. Might be able to kill some of the archers. Now Infi's mining. Seems like this was the most difficult timing for him. While well, the army was so small, holding on to the expansion, but hold on, he did. Kushlik's be here for the Shadow Hunter. Is this level 3? Oh, yes, it is. A player's forces are under attack. Going for yet more Berserkers. It's the third Berserker for Infi. Level 2 Serpent Wards. He's got so much piercing damage now against these Dryads. And perhaps enough to also take out the Tree of Life expansion. The Wolves are not doing much. Uh, the rest of the army certainly seems to be. Drunken Ice with the fire, big damage against the Orc army, but it's only one level one with the fire. One of mana stealing, also ready still on the Shadow Hunter. The Serpent Ward Snake Pit, very difficult to properly engage. Demon are hurt already, he needs to heal badly. There's still Moon Juice, not too much. Tree of Life. And Ancient of War fighting with the rest of the gang. Demon are back in the mix. Level 2 Immolation can do some pretty good damage. And the Panic level 3. Oh, big damage output now. Colorful. Not out of this one yet. Colorful needs to win here. Unless he wants to get... Wants to go 0-3. It seems like Colorful is somehow making it work. Just barely. Pillage now ready as well. Infi may want to transition into a base race lame style. Start things off. The wolves now not too valuable anymore. Infi's coming back for the next round. Does not want to give Colorful the time and the easy expansion. Big Drunken Ice put the fire. He wave against it. Team Iron taking quite a bit of damage. He's dropping low. Very low. Get the TP. May have to use it soon. There it is. TP out. Tree of Life now. Gonna be very exposed. If this one goes down, this could be the end of the game. It's tier 2 only. Team Hunter. Trying to heal, needs some potions as well, needs moonstones, needs so many things, but by that time, the Tree of Life is gonna be gone. Just barely though. Shadow Hunter was trying to get a heal scroll from the shop, and he did get it. Waiting for the right moment to use it. Now it is. Panda getting away. Serpent Ward still being summoned. Dimahar now level 4. He is quite strong. Immolation still running. Farseer stealing an item over here. Claws plus 8. That's pretty good. And the Panda is dropping here. This could be the end. This seems like it has to be the end. The counter expansion attempt not quite working out. Infi very insistent. Gets the win here in the end. The win of the fight at least. If the game is over yet. I'm not exactly 100% sure. But if he seems to have all, uh, all the things speaking in his favor. Double level 4, really good. He's got the heal wave 2 now. He's got another Berserker. I think Infi bought 5 Berserkers this game. Calipha's waiting a long time to get this panda back. 
player's forces are under attack. Right to surround a level 4 Demon Hunter. Is that perhaps a bit too bold? Trying to lock him in. Oh, almost had him. Whew. Gets out just by a pixel. But so many Berserkers. Four Berserker piercing damage is crazy against these Dryads. They have 1-1 one, one upgrades, but that might not be enough. The Shredder. They don't seem to be the best investment this game. Number, perhaps not the issue here. At least it's nighttime now. The Demon Hunter trying to heal from the Moon Wells. Let's get a potion. Infi struggling a bit with the Rectex with the Focus Fire. And the Demon is level 5. Infi is throwing away a lot of army right here. But he's also getting kills in return. Serpent Ward's getting more and more kills. Wolves all of a sudden are valuable again. <laughs> this is kind of a crazy game. The Wolves and Serpent Wards in tandem are working very well. Oh, Chain Lightning coming in. If the Demon goes down, the game is over. Staff doesn't quite save him. Demon falls. Farseer is level 5. And Colorful is last in the group. Panda tried to do whatever he can by himself, but that is not much anymore. Nice little surround there towards the end. The Serpent Wards do it, and Infi gets the win, and the game is over. Strong comeback by Infi. Losing the Night of Mirror first on the first map, but then with Orc, it works out twice for him. Seems like Orc today is Infi's blessing.